There's no way you are best tier. For her anesthesiologist best tier. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Metros channel. And we are all three back again. What's up? Yeah. We are Shaman Benith, and my name's Herman. That's weird that for me. So <laughs> we are. Wait, who are you Central again? <laughs> so we are back for our little holiday series of videos. And today, what we're going to be doing is doing a tier list of medical specialties. And I'm super excited about this. There's all sorts of tier lists online. I'm sure you guys have seen them, like ranking your fast food tier list animal tier list, whatever tier list they are. And I thought it'd be fun, obviously for fun, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. These are our kind of personal opinions, not facts, this is not objective, but we're gonna try to put together a tier list of all of the specialties out there. Yeah, and there's gonna be some people who don't know what a tier list is. So Beneath, you mind filling us in? Um, Cause sure, because I'm so experienced <laughs> yeah. in ranking things. Um, a tier list is essentially like, uh, category ranking where you go from like S tier is the best, right? Exactly, yeah. So it's ranking in groups. So it's problematic when you rank things like one, two, three, four, especially like one and three might be basically the same. So like they are basically ranked in groups. So like S tier, if we're doing that, is gonna be like the best specialties. Mm -hmm. And then D tier or whatever is gonna be the worst. F so worst. F tier. And whatever specialty you go into, uh, we know where, you're, where that's going <laughs> to end. <laughs> and make sure you guys chime in. If you agree, disagree, put your own tier list down in the comments. Mm -hmm. And let's get started. I'm really excited yeah, to see the final see product yeah, I'm of like this. <laughs> of the video idea as he explains it. So no, I'm really great. excited too. It's going to be fun. So we're going to be looking at really the big specialties. I know there's a ton of specialties. Obviously, the things we're taking into account are uh, lifestyle, salary, uh, how cool the stuff they do. Again, it's kind of not objective. It's kind of personal, personal uh, what you, how you feel about it, but how cool is the specialty in quotes? Um, what other well, things are you guys looking so at? So when you do, for example, a physician uh, survey on like AMC, I don't know if mm -hmm. you guys have ever done that, but sometimes you answer some questions and they'll tell you what you value in a specialty and they'll match you to a specialty. And the things they look for are uh, how much you value, like Herman said, work-life balance, how much you value research, mm -hmm. how much you value uh, uh, just free time, how much you value uh, the actual subject matter. Um, those are the things like that Like working I can... with patients. Or yeah, like... how fulfilling your job is, etc. So anesthesiology, what do we have any thoughts about it? It's cool. It's, it is. I'm not putting cool. that in S tier. Oh, you're jumping Hold off on. Why is that? Because, yeah. because for me, I feel wow. like it's not my cup of tea because I personally really want to interact with patients a okay. lot and I don't feel like you get that with oh, anesthesiology. Sure. And uh, a lot of it is very limited in scope uh, as far as like what you do on a daily basis. Daily basis, daily basis, yeah. So yes, it's integrated with other specialties. Obviously you can go do anesthesiology for certain surgeries, etc. But it, for me, it's limited in scope. So yeah, I'm not my cup of tea, but if you're into that, I think it's actually a really great work-life balance. Oh yeah. Uh, the income is very nice, keeps their residents and you know physicians really happy. For sure. Um, and it's just kind of, I mean, so obviously everything's hard work and it's long hours, but at the same time, it's kind of chill because you get to... You show up, you sit behind, kind of, you put, you help intubate or whatever you need to do and help, you know, submit yeah. them. Make it's definitely sure. high stress, but at the same time, it's not like you're doing the... Yeah, your typical day is not high stress. So you go into the OR, you're kind of sitting behind uh, the kind of surgery and you're kind of... I've done multiple anesthesia, anesthesiology rotations, and a lot of the times there's a lot of downtime during surgeries. There's magazines involved. There's, you know, you're just chilling in the back. <laughs> magazines play, involved. I know. Like, well, I've done that was a weird way to, <laughs> to phrase that. Uh, but you know, basically, there's a lot of relaxation and downtime. Uh, so anesthesiology, in terms of work life, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. What do you for, guys? Uh, yeah, for me, I think it's this is an interesting time that we're making it because my next rotation is anesthesiology. Mm -hmm. um, but from what I've heard from like other students, they say it's great and the hours are good and everything. They do say it gets really repetitive. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you get to do sometimes like intubating and like all sorts of different things. Uh, but yeah, a lot of the time you're just behind while the surgery is going on, just kind of standing around or sitting around. Um, so that's not my cup of tea. Uh, but for those people who, you know, more value work-life balance and salary over like engagement, I think that's a pretty 
good specialty. So this, I'm not gonna give it an S tier. Oh, but are we doing it off personal preference? Or like, if it's your cup of tea? No, it no, just, no, 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 no not objective, peripheral. As objective our personal opinions can be. So what would you objectively So like, what would I put it out as Yeah, my on interest? a tier list, no. So if you see that people, okay. there are people that are gonna yeah, I love. Yeah, I still think S tier then. Oh wow, okay. I think people are really happy in Yeah, it. I think no, it has some sure. of the best physician satisfaction, so. Uh-huh. So what were you gonna say? Solid. What are you gonna put it at? Yeah, uh, S tier. I wouldn't put it S tier yeah. uh, because there is a lot of repetition. Obviously, there's repetition in every specialty, but I think um, it just might get a little boring for some people. So I'm gonna put it as an A tier. Okay. Uh, you know which what? is still really high. Uh, Oh, let me write these tears on ABC. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to forget this. This is okay. official. This is official. Well, you could just watch the video again. I don't have time for that. Okay. So, You're editing uh, Beneath it. is saying a vote for S tier. Shaman saying A tier. I'm going to say A tier. I think overall the med are going to put anesthesiology at A tier. Okay. I can't wait down. to see what goes in your NAM S tier. And so, the then. first one specialty. specialty would you like? Damn, no. that's really, I think we're starting out really good. Pretty good work-life balance, good compensation. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys would put S tier. Okay, let's see, let's keep it moving. <laughs> All right, so excuse me, let's go into dermatology. Damn, we're going into the like, right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dermatology, the, the very uh, infamous or non-infamous, or I don't know how you want it. Infamous. Uh, very... Not infamous is famous or just not famous at all? Famous uh, for being... <laughs> famous for being infamous. No. Infamous for being famous. It's Derm just is infamous that specialty. For being famous. Derm is like that one specialty that everybody makes fun of because their hours are probably some of the best hmm. you'll ever get in medicine. Residents typically work eight hour days in clinic. They don't really have call in the hospitals. Like there's barely any calls usually for like, hey, we got this crazy baby with a rash. And Nowadays, a lot of private practices and stuff are doing four day work weeks for their physicians. So they are like at the pinnacle of free time. Wow. <laughs> yeah. In terms of calls, it's interesting because I feel like I've seen a good number of oh, derm maybe calls. Yeah, yeah. Um, but maybe that's just my experience. But I think uh, it is different based off like where, where you are. are yeah. yeah. My like hospital doesn't, yeah. but yours probably does. Yeah. And in terms of hours, I feel like there's also a good number of other specialties that have similar hours, but yeah, like derm, opto. people always focus in on derm. Yeah. Why is that? Because I think the other factor that has a conversation you're getting for those hours is pretty sweet. And then Benit's also saying there's four day work weeks too. is pretty, oh yeah. Is running along with derm, but yeah. Shaman's right. They don't really get the same reputation that dermatology gets. I think, I think so, it's the cosmeticization. I just yes. made up that word, but the cosmeticization of derm i think the involvement of derm in mainstream media and plastic surgery kind of overlap has made derm more of a target yeah which i think is kind of problematic because i don't think people are fully understanding like the scope of dermatology because mm -hmm. social media and stuff they're really just focusing on this narrow cosmetic spectrum mm -hmm. um but yeah there's a whole ton of things in dermatology like a lot of it focuses on like skin cancers there is the cosmetic aspect then there's like acne there's and a lot of like immunology in it too like a lot of rheumatological diseases that you need derm consults for yeah, yeah. think of somebody that comes in with like heart block or myocarditis or pericarditis or there's something wrong with their heart or kidneys or gi you might not know it but a dermatologist might be able to identify skin manifestations that can identify what's going on inside them playing an important role in helping helping kind of uh, treat really serious diseases so a lot of people yeah. take that into account. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? S tier S -tier. again for me! <laughs> yeah, Everybody knows be. that I want to be a dermatologist, so like how sad <laughs> would it be if I didn't rank that S tier? I, the one thing I want to go to is not S tier, but I would say this is this is S tier. Yeah, I think it's pretty clearly S tier. And what are the downsides though? What are That's the... True. Uh, there is a stigma. The, yeah. I faced it. Especially I feel like being a girl, uh, you just aren't taking it seriously because you just seem like you kind of have to work a little bit harder to prove that you're just not in it for cosmetic reasons. I think not just a girl aspect. I think everybody. In yeah, everybody kind of gets the side eye of oh, why do you want to go in derm? Like, cool, yeah. it's just for money. It's just for. <coughs> Chill life. Uh, yeah, you don't actually want to help people. But, like, if somebody's coming into a physician's office, they need help. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody has a crazy, like, skin manifestation, you're going to help them. So, mm -hmm. we need dermatologists. So, yeah. Because I have seen cases, like, when I'm looking at patients that have literally died from like a melanoma mm -hmm. and Absolutely. that's why dermatologist roles are really important like Absolutely. a dermatologist if you find a melanoma on a patient during a skin check yep. like that's you might have saved that patient's you life probably did yeah um, cool next one so we got an a tier oh. and an s tier we are starting i know we are starting yeah. off really high all right here. oh this the next one's pretty good these are actually all ones that Let's, i considered i feel like so far this okay. next Let's one too it. er 
Oh, this will be interesting. Okay, that's interesting because I just finished my ER rotation. Um, I'm in my third year of medical school, if you guys don't know, and we rotate in a variety of different places. And I would actually say, surprisingly, ER was probably my favorite rotation. Um, because first of all, I think it's most realistic compared to what it's like it's most like what you see in the real world like if your grandma is having like joint pain or something tell me what it is figure out ask the right questions and that's kind of what you do in the er versus like on my internal medicine rotation there was already all this filtration like the patient already had all these consults or uh, exams all these physicians already saw the patient and kind of already have the diagnosis in the chart so i feel like er is really exciting because it's that first look into a patient who's coming in with a problem mm -hmm. and then not even talking about like the emergent cases like a pulmonary embolism which is like really dangerous and just seeing that managed um, I think it's really awesome. So ER is pretty point. great. Okay. Obviously, I think the big downside is just you're constantly seeing patients and then it can get really, I think people can get burned out burned in the out. ER. Yeah. I think a huge downside for me, which is why I didn't want to pursue it, is that you don't ever see your patients again. I really am somebody who wants to have a long relationship with patients and like be like, hey, how's your kids? How's everything? Like, and like have a connection. And I don't think you get that ever with ER, like unless some guy's coming in, like. <laughs> which happens a lot. Which happens. Come in again and again for like carpet but, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I just, that was a huge con for me. Yeah. Um, for me, work-life balance, I mean, it's pretty good in the sense yeah, that shift good. work, you get two weeks on, you get two weeks off. That's it just how good. it works with yeah. shift work. Um, but that can also be a con. I don't think I like that. I don't like the two weeks and then having two weeks off and then not to work hard for two weeks. I just you don't necessarily like, have to do it like that. That's you don't have to do it like that for sure. You're right. Like you're right. You're right. You're right. Totally. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, so that's not really the biggest con. Yeah. In terms of shifts, when I was on my rotation, like some of our days were, some of our hours were in the day, some were at night. And it got like really jumbled to the point where like my sleep schedule and my eating schedule, my yeah. brushing schedule was like so off. Yeah. And that would be a, definitely a problem for me. Like it's so erratic in terms of hours. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you can probably schedule it otherwise, but that's the way I, I experienced it. And that was pretty difficult for me. Herman, you start because we- I'm gonna we... start off. Yeah, I just, I just don't have that. I, I love all the pros. Um, what are you? What is this? <laughs> I love all the pros. I'm really, really <laughs> but, taking this you know, entire thing I... I'm taking this tier list very seriously because tier list. Why are you looking at us like you're judging us or something? Serious. I've considered everything, but one of you has got. I don't think we're gonna agree on this. I say B tier because I just don't have a compelling case for why uh, ER should be any higher. Okay. Yeah, I just... Mm, uh, also, another thing that I'm factoring into all these is, this is gonna be kind of shade, kind of not, but I actually like the people who go to ER. They're usually really nice I do people. as well. Yeah, so, for me, the work environment, I know, I bet you I'm gonna go super south later, but I really do like ER, and it was between Durham and ER for me, so I'm gonna put it again on S tier. So don't kill me. S tier for ER? You're yes, putting everything on the I, S tier. I to do all ER three S tier second. in a row. Uh, okay, everyone can, I drop can have anesthesiology an opinion. down to an A. What's well, A now? Okay, I'm gonna put <laughs> anesthesiology to an A. Alright, so alright, you need to shaman, you need to tie break this. What is your ER? Okay, yeah. ER. So um like I said, it's really good. The only downside um is let me think. Obviously here. we're missing a lot of pros and cons. It's not no. extensive, this is just off the top no, of yeah. what our thoughts no. are. <sighs> I'd probably give it an A tier. A tier? Yeah. I, I think, think it's, it's a very I, solid spot. Is there nothing going to be in your F tier? BSA, I think we're going to go A with ER. I think A is fair. I think that's fair. We need S, not everything can be S tier. There's no way we're S tier. <laughs> for her, anesthesiology is S tier. Dermatology is S tier. Emergency is S tier. <laughs> Of it's literally we look at her tier list, everything in the top tier, S beneath <laughs> tier right you know, there. No, like so, some, somebody get like a uh, tier list and just put <laughs> beneath tier list, edit this in. <laughs> beneath tier list, everything is an S. <laughs> oh my god. Next one. All right, next. Um, all right, family med. Oh, family okay. medicine. Yeah. Home I home really home enjoyed home. my family medicine rotation Everyone and I think when I was growing up, what inspired me actually to become a doctor was family medicine. Yeah, like same. I thought that's what I wanted to do. I yeah. saw the interaction with the patients. It was something that was really like meaningful to me and I wanted to pursue it. But coming into medical school and seeing all the tons of specialties kind of, kind of opens your eyes a little bit. 
that there's a lot more than um, cases that might not be as exciting or uh, sometimes boring in family medicine. Um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? Yeah, no, I completely agree with those cons. Uh, primary care, everyone loves it, but uh, you, you kind of deal with diabetes, hypertension, back pain, headaches, again and again and again and again. Obviously, you're gonna get those amazing cases where the primary care caught something before anybody else did and got ahead of it and got the right scan and saved someone's life. Or That's there's the great. many cases where they missed it and y'all got a malpractice. Yeah, I know that too. <laughs> but also the kind of things they do on a day-to-day -day is amazing, managing someone's diabetes and things like that. These things save lives. Uh, and prevent them from even going for specialists or getting any further um, deteriorated. So that's an amazing thing. Obviously, all these fields are amazing. I think it's also what you value. If you value interesting cases, then family medicine probably isn't for you. If you value things like the patient-doctor interaction, like, I felt like my interactions on my rotation um, during primary care were fantastic. Like I feel like Damn, I felt like yeah. the patients really loved me, and I really uh, enjoyed helping them. Uh, patients got, that I got to know, take detailed history from, they were happy to give it. They were like really pleasant, more pleasant than I think in other specialties, mm -hmm. and uh, we just had a really good relationship. And then I felt like at the place I was at, I had a good relationship with the staff around me. So I had a really good experience. And that along with me growing up wanting to do uh, family medicine, I think I would probably put it in S tier myself. Wow. I don't, I, we yeah. should definitely. I did, by the way. Uh, I mean, you do, but you sometimes, like, I saw a patient who had congestive heart failure that was like, like an exacerbation. I noticed like cyanosis and stuff and I was like, yo, we gotta be concerned about this. And we sent her to the emergency room. So you do sometimes see like interesting stuff like that. So it's not like you're making out to be completely dry hypertension all day. Oh, look at this. I Someone already covered my bases. Da, da, da. <laughs> I already covered my bases on that, but we do have to be realistic for some I of the cons of managing bases. diabetes and hypertension. Things like that can be really extensive, like long-term kind of things. You have to deal with kind of the nitty-gritty of things. Um, and a lot of paperwork, a lot of kind of being the middle man. Okay, what, so what do you give it? So that's my cons. So I'm gonna put it as uh, A tier. After all of that, oh where are the... <laughs> After, <laughs> after that <laughs> entire spiel, <laughs> your first half out. Let's be realistic here. A tier. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks everything so high. Okay, Benita, so Benita, Benita, the tiebreaker here. What do you think? Uh, I don't think we've addressed the giant elephant in the room. I hate to be that person that brings the compensation. Back to money, but no, the com that's no, the that's, that's definitely a huge it's con. Literally the probably the most important specialty yet they get paid crap huge mismatch in terms of how much they like get paid. and they work so hard yeah. and they get paid literal shit so that's a huge con for me it's not obviously their fault it's the way everything's structured but uh that drops it down for sure it's not s tier because of that because that's just ridiculous um to be working that hard and not be compensated fairly so I would put it at a B tier just because, um, I don't know, I like it too, like Shaman said, but at the same time, I don't want to manage the same things every single day. And You know what? I'm going to drop it to B tier. Okay. I'm going to drop it to B tier as well. Uh, I completely agree. Uh, and if that compensation was kind of adjusted. And, yeah, no, I uh, agree. The compensation's really shit. Yeah, if, you, if that was adjusted then you, and with the kind of role you play with the patient, I would love to do that specialty, but... Uh, What's the average? Yeah, yeah, I feel like because... I'm biased because it's something that I like. Yeah. Um, no, it's something I love too. Yeah, sure. I agree. I'd put me, I'd put it under A tier. Yeah. I think there are definitely those negatives. And obviously, competition is not the only con. It's not, it's, oh, yeah. it's not the money, I'm not going to primary care. Obviously, there's a lot of other things I'm passionate about, but. Uh, 230. 230. That's pretty near, high. It's the second to third, though, from the bottom. Doctors in general get paid a lot, man. No, I know, but that's why there's like these higher end, like rural areas that are really ramping this up. Let's put it at a. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be realistic. We're st we're taking it to B tier. Right? Yeah, so B tier. I think B tier. Yeah. yeah. We so we have no. I agreed oh. with A, but B B A okay. yeah, average is a B. Start. I am hospitalist. Okay, so uh, again, kind of dealing with adult medicine. Uh, now you're talking about people that are in the hospital, so very cute stuff. Um, Again, not really long-term care. You're kind of taking care of them, taking care of their acute conditions, sending them on their way to their primary care. Uh, you see a full range of amazing stuff as a hospitalist or the middleman between a bunch of other different specialties. What do you think? Um, I'd say B tier. It just doesn't interest me. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go C tier for this one. Oh. Um, just because, again, might be biased a little by my experience, but I did enjoy it. I just felt like it was a little dragged out. Like we spent a little too long on rounds. So kind of as somebody going into this field next year, uh, the pros of seeing all of the different pathology, using everything you use in medical school to kind of put together a, a, a assessment and plan and uh, you know help a patient uh, through acute conditions. Uh, they're coming in, anything can come in through uh, the, the hospital, you get sent it from the ER, there's a whole team component to it. Cons, you might not be a team player, you might not like coordinating between multiple specialties. Um, Another pro though is there, the scheduling could be pretty good. It's similar to ER, uh, kind of your on and off, a uh, couple weeks on, a couple weeks off. Um, yeah, overall, I think you guys point yeah. out some cons that you don't really get to get intimate with the patient. And the rank is, what do you want to do, B? I'm going to give B. me a B on my B. end. All right, we're going for iron B tier. Let's go to the next one. Uh, neurology. Oh. I okay. like neurology. Really, I, as someone who has spent extensive time in neurology, uh, I find that a lot of neurologists are really focused on research. Um, the, a lot of these conditions can't be cured yet. There's so many That's things we true. don't know about neurology. Um, I think it's a field that has so much to be fleshed out and I think it's gonna change drastically mm -hmm. over the next few years. My verdict, D tier for neurology. Okay, I think it's interesting. I during my rotation again, I found it. I thought I would really like it. I found it a little dry. Dementia uh, and all these crazy illnesses that people are just so scared of. Your doctor becomes your like safe haven. It's so so meaningful. And yeah, I I was like on one of my top five for sure. And um, the short residency, pretty decent compensation. Yeah, pretty good. Um, so what do you score? Work life balance is great. Give me a I score. give it an eight. Okay, so I'm not as high as. Beneath, I'm not as down as Herman. I would give it a B uh, because, like I said, I think it does get a little long-winded, but I do think it's really fascinating, like how you can localize lesions in the brain based on like a, an yeah, exam. So there is fun, yeah. cool stuff for sure. Um, I just think there are some negatives. Yeah. So B. I agree. It could get dry. I'm putting you in the C tier overall. Okay. No. Uh, Wait, why? Because, because I saved a D. Oh my god, <laughs> So you just weigh your opinion D? more or something? Yeah, my, no, I'm it's more a, passionate It's about between my D. a C and a B, okay. I'm right. more passionate about my D than you guys are about your A's and B's. All right, I'm we're gonna get some hate for that. Top five. As an A? No, as a yeah, specialty. As your, yeah, but as your rank. Yeah, but as your how rank. How much do you weight your how much, A? How strongly do you want to give an A? A strong A? I want to give a D pretty badly. <laughs> then let's give it a C. I want to yeah, give it a B C. pretty badly. Okay. Yeah. C. All right, let's see. Okay, fine. No, I don't really okay. care. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I got an opinion for this one, kids. OB guide. Okay, go for it. Yeah. What do you rate? I cannot cannot do OB on myself. I give you mad props if you do it. And somebody has to do it. I'm going to need an OB guide. You know, I need, I mean, I have a, okay, this is getting weird. Uh, <laughs> I have done more pap smears in my student clinic than I want to have done in my life and I am not about the business down there. Mm -hmm. So what do you rate it? Personally, uh... F. C. A D. C. You want to give it a I D? I give it a C. No, I give okay. it a C. For me, there were some things that I really enjoyed, like catching babies and actually the birthing process, I think was amazing. Um, C sections not so much. Uh, a lot of other stuff like the gyne related stuff, gyne surgery, it's kind of like, ah, it's fine. You do a BSO or anything like that, hysterectomy, things like that. Sure, that's fine. Um, preceptors, unfortunately, I, I think you guys, yeah, make sure you guys go check out my blog on uh, my experience with OB-GYN and it's kind of especially that's known for having, you know, those kind of individuals involved in it, unfortunately. Of course that's not true, blah, 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 generic. You guys get a disclaimer, disclaimer. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say D tier. Yeah, I have to you know, second. Just to say I have an F tier. I'm gonna put an F tier. Yeah, I have to second him on the opinion on the preceptor yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, and there's multiple different locations. Because I would that. say it's not like everybody yeah, in the in the sure field not. is like some evil person. But right. just the fact that if there's like even 10 percent and you run into that, that's gonna ruin. That might ruin your yeah, your yeah, time there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that one resin that's like a total whatever. I didn't find. Delivering babies as exciting as everyone else. No. Um, I don't know why I might not have a heart, but um, <laughs> it just wasn't like I delivered the baby and I'd put him like, we got a baby. <laughs> it's not. It's not like it's. We got a baby. What do you give it? C. Okay, so I'll yeah, D. 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 All right, let's go to the next one. Next. next. 
We're gonna get so Please direct story. all hate towards Herman. Herman. That is your. <laughs> all okay, right, next one. This one's good. Ortho. Ortho Okay, orthopedics. Of the all right, let's just medicine. get it all out right now for all the surgery things. I don't like surgery. I don't Period. like a lot of general surgery, but ortho surgery is something else. It is amazing. It is like tool. It's like a, a, a what do you call it? Um, a construction work. Like it's really, really cool stuff where you get in there, use your hands, and you're doing all these techniques with bones and nails me. and hammers. And Definitely. I think it's absolutely fascinating. If I could go back, maybe I would consider it. Um, so you could see two different types of people. Even if I had to choose between surgery, I would not want the construction surgery like Herman wants it. Why? I would want the delicate, uh, like ENT stuff, the cardiac okay. stuff. So there's two different types of people here. So he's fascinated by it. I'm not. All right, so what do you rate it? I give it an A. Okay, beneath. Really uh, good compensation, really cool surgery. D, D. I, I. What are the negatives? She just doesn't like surgery. It's uh, I'm stereotype. Gonna yeah, this, I'm going to put in B just to balance everything out. He just gave his own score randomly. Yeah, he always gives his. <laughs> Wait, what did you give it? A D. No, you do awesome surgeries and are compensated. How about you get to shift it more towards your side? Because I have objective data. Did you do an orthopedic like <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Spend time with ortho people. How many times? A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> this tier list is the most definitive, the objective. This is very strong. This is the most objective tier list on the internet. Uh, peds. Oh. oh. Okay. Beneath you start. Uh, I've had exposure to peds, and I'm sorry again. Another thing. I told you guys I'd be more hardcore later. I started off strong. But I'm not a fan of peds. I love kids. Uh, growing up, I'd always be like the auntie to all the little kids. I'd always keep them occupied. Uh, so it's not that I don't like kids. I actually like kids. But I just don't care for why they come in. Uh, it's they come in because they're not like hitting their weight and you know height and stuff or. Yeah, a lot of it is like that just like doesn't interest me. Like asthma exacerbations. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't interest me. Like, eat more vegetables, Timmy. My, my, essentially, I've seen in the visits, a lot of it just becomes, Timmy, <laughs> why aren't you eating your veggies? Okay, your mom's gonna take away your Xbox if you don't eat your veggies. You don't want to do that? Get paid like a doctor and live like a doctor? Okay, another thing, they don't get paid well. Well, yeah, they're one of the worst. There's another thing. So, unfortunately. unfortunately, that's why I would have to give it. But a lot of it is. Oh, a C? Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of it is, though, kind of the same kind of rash, it's kind of generic. Yeah, it stuff. depends. Like, it looks like Beneath had more of a clinic experience. Yeah, yeah. obviously, we're talking about outpatient. Yeah. A lot outpatient. of this, we're talking about, like, the kind of generic. Yeah. Kind of but, outpatient. yeah, inpatient, you see stuff like oh, asthma, yeah. exacerbation. Yeah, inpatient's really cool. Um, yeah, possibly, like, like neuro stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be Inpatient's really cool. I, I changed my mind on that, but outpatient. Outpatient, Pete, I'm going to give a B. I'm just peds in general. I think I think it's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, I think again, it's similar to internal medicine in the sense that it again, patients can come in for anything. It could be like some, um, I don't know, it could be like cellulitis or it could be like some kind of mm -hmm. rare neurological condition that's causing like this baby to not move his arm. Um, so I think there is a lot of medicine um, that is interesting, mm -hmm. but there is a lot of asthma exacerbations. You tell them to use the inhalers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm gonna give it a B. I, don't feel strongly either way. In my time, I realized a lot of pediatric outpatient visits are a lot of like social work almost that the doctor's doing. Whether it's connecting with the school, getting the, writing letters for like special ed classes, or um, getting the parent in contact with support groups for certain things like for ADHD, like handing out so many flyers, like a lot of it becomes patient education, social work, uh, coordination, and uh, I don't know if that's just the experience I've had in my specific hospital, but uh, yeah, I feel like my time could have been better spent. I, a positive, have you guys ever considered the people in PEDS are really cool? Yeah, they are. Also. Oh, yeah. They're 100%. really nice people. Yeah, 100%. You're right. 100%. I, I think most people are really awesome. So can we get it a bump to B? Yeah, yeah it's, it's B. Bump, it's yeah, B. B. For sure. Just surgery now. We're general ending surgery? in general surgery. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, this one's pretty easy for me. Yeah, it's easy. I think we're all going to put this one in the same one. I don't know. I haven't put anything on F yet. I I'm go putting an F tier. Why? I think that general surgery I'm F -tier. is amazing in terms of what they do, and you know, it is such a broad range of surgeries you have to do. Um, you know, whether it be breast, GI, whatever, uh, you have to know so many different things. You have to watch out for so many different things. So many things can go wrong, but um, it's a really, really tough lifestyle. 
uh, your pay is not what you would think it would be. I was actually shocked at what the pay was for John Hurley compared to um, what you are doing and what your lifestyle is. Um, it is amazing, it is for a certain type of person. For me personally, I thought I was gonna love it more than I did, but I'm gonna put in that. Uh, also, it's just the road when we say it's tough for general surgery, it is like extremely mm -hmm. tough. Like I spent a week in it and I wasn't even on resident schedules. Like, and they wanted me there at like 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I left earlier than the residents and I left at like six. So you're literally doing that nonstop. And I was doing that for a week and I was dying. My feet were like done. In the operating room, it does get a little repetitive when you've seen the same case 10 times, like, I don't know, a gallbladder getting pulled out or You're something. It's like, it's yeah, it's cool. like you see, it might be fascinating at first, but it does get repetitive in yeah. some in some aspects. So, um, F tier. F tier. F tier. All right. Direct all hate so towards like, Herman's Instagram. It looks like um, <laughs> <laughs> Derm was unanimously the S tier, and the things were yeah. Derm, and then Gen Surge was the worst. Yeah. I think was, also this would be totally different if you got three other kids in med school. We are. Oh, duh. Yeah, me and Shaman are notoriously not surgery people, right? But Herman's kind no, of. I kind actually of I came to surgery open minded, but it I just did too. it I just did too. it mm. just yeah. Yeah. Okay. And again, I don't want to be that one person that, like, you have those residents, like, you're going into that specialty and they kind of judge you for it. We're not judging anybody. We're, this is really just what we think for, like, us. Um, so don't feel offended or anything like that. It's just for fun. So let us know what you guys think. Change it up down below. Herman will make a little... Yeah, feel free. Yeah, make your own tier list. Yeah. yeah. I'll put a link there so you guys have that same screen that you've been seeing this entire time. You can throw your, your things on your tier list and share it with us because we'd love to see it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot of videos planned and this is probably after Thanksgiving. So happy late Thanksgiving. Hope you had a wonderful turkey or if you're a vegetarian. A wonderful, what did you mean? Tofurky. Tofurky. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah.